I just picked up these beautiful pheasants and I'm just gonna pluck them because I'm gonna take out the breasts. I'm not interested with having the skin on for this recipe, so I'm a, being a bit careless with my plucking, but it's quite quick. So the recipe I'm gonna be doing is gonna be uh, almost like a, a pheasant balmoral, I guess, without the haggis, but with stuffing. And it really is a good recipe to get people into pheasant just so moist and delicious, you have to try it, it's unbelievable. So we're going to do some like cranberry, sage, onion and chestnut stuffing with sausage meat as well. So we're going to open up the breast, we're going to place it inside with a little bit of butter as well, roll it up tight with bacon, then roll that up in cling film and that keeps it really, really moist then. So we poach that for 20 minutes in water and all the butter, all the sausage meat will start basting the pheasant and then we finish it off in the frying pan and you get a really, really juicy, tender pheasant breast. Perfect for a Christmas dinner. Funny. No. Oh, my favourite. I'm going to add some hot water, warm water. Then I'll just. So this is a stuffing mix that's going to be stuffed inside a pheasant and we've got breadcrumbs, onions, we've got sage, chestnuts, cranberries, sausage meat, salt and pepper and a little bit of water to kind of bind it all together and then we keep that in the bowl for a little bit now and then when we're ready for it, um, once we've prepared our pheasant, we will stuff inside the cavity. We'll wrap them up and then wrap them in bacon and then uh, we will poach them to be absolutely delicious. See if we need to amend anything. That's nice. A little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, and then uh, we're good to go. So we've cleaned the breast, and this is the outside. So we're going to turn it over, and you've still got the uh, the fillet there. So we're going to push push that to the side. Now we're going to cut down here about two thirds of the way down. It's important you have a sharp knife for this. I'm just doing it very gently because I do not want to cut all the way through the meat. And then I'll cut horizontally on both sides as the best I can. We're going to do all the rest of these breasts like this and then we're going to be stuffing the cavity with the festive stuffing. start the stuffing process. I'm just kind of the bacon's gonna hold its parcel together. There we go, they're quite smart, aren't they? You know, this is obviously one of the hen breasts, because you can see it's quite pale and petite. And they were smaller, and the bigger ones there from the big cock bird. Six beautiful parcels there. Then we're gonna wrap in cling film, airtight, and then poach for 20 minutes in the pan. A sheet of cling film. Place the bird directly in the middle there with a band of butter. Roll that up tight. And what you'll find is the butter's going to melt inside. Just continue to kind of marinate that. 
you push your fingers in, roll it, and you keep pushing your fingers in at the same time, so it tightens around the parcel, like that. And what we'll do, tie that off at the end. Push it down. So I'm just gonna pop these in to the pan, which is just starting to boil. As soon as they're in, it'll stop boiling, and then we'll move them to the other hob, and then 20 minutes time, they should be done. We'll bring them out, cool them down for a bit, and then we'll uh, open them up and fry them off to finish. Incredibly juicy and tender. So here we are with my festive pheasant parcels. Ideal Christmas dinner using locally sourced game. It's a bit of a tongue twister, the old festive pheasant, but I assure you it's absolutely amazing. The thing is a pheasant's not just for Christmas, for any time of year. If you want to do like a pheasant balmoral, you can use haggis, um, you can just do normal stuffing. Quite an easy dish to make. It looks complex, but it really isn't. And it keeps well as well, so you can seal it, refrigerate it for a few days and get it ready for when you want to have Sunday dinner or Christmas dinner. It really is a great way of presenting pheasant. You should definitely try it at home. That's Christmas. <laughs>